Hey, if you hadn't seen our new denim shirts, let me show them to you. Pretty slick. Make the color pop in your eyes, no matter what color eyes you got. Make them shine. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. A lot of these more custom homes from the 70s and 80s and even 90s come with issues related to being watertight and bug tights that you know like that little gap in the trim up there but right here on this one i went to run my razor knife to cut paint and i'm just sticking my hand sticking my whole knife in through the soffit here so i'm pulling this soffit out it's later in the day so the sun's hitting this side of the roof i can't really get a good read on where they are i think they're right there and maybe extending up past that beam I'm out of my good shirt and about ready to open this ceiling. Oh, before I get going, guess what these are? These are empty containers to put honey in. <laughs> they came from the old lady next door. I see termite wings, but I also saw a snake or a lizard tail. What is that? It's got to be a lizard. I hope that's a lizard. Whatever it was disappeared. And uh, look at this. It wasn't termite wings, it was bee wings. They've tried spraying this thing before. Killed a bunch of bees, but not the colony. I can see them from here. No chance I can reach them from here though. Another little something you run into when somebody's done remodeling expansion over the years. You see where they built around that tree. That did not got anything to do with what I'm dealing with right now though. I'm brick veneer over the porch soffit. Butts up to it so that plywood soffit runs back in there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this panel loose and see if maybe I can't work it out. But I seriously doubt it. It's probably the soffit probably runs at least the depth of the brick. And uh, I'm going to have to make a cut across here. But first, what I'm shooting for, in case I can reach them, it's not a huge colony, and they're right here, basically. I'm going to pull the panel down and let it sag, let it hang on that end, and maybe reach up through here and get the combs without making that cut. And then I'll just take my nailer and tack that back up. I'll let you know if it works. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna be able to let it hang. I gotta take it down. <clears throat> All these staples. I gotta cut all those staples flush with the board. They're all the way across the center. If I don't, that board won't go back up flush because those staples will fold over. I'll be trying to knock those things in flat and I just, I'll just beat the crap out of that panel with a hammer if I try that. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that other edge and pull this board down. Man, I'm never recording at the right time. Dropped a smoker on my face the other day and I wasn't recording. Just now when I got that last, <laughs> that's a little bit cut. All the rest of the staples turned loose and the panel fell on my head. I caught it there. Just glad it didn't fall on a car or something. Here we go. We in, baby. I got a guy coming from Pedal to get them because I'm spreading the love. 
and he's going to bring a nuke box and some frames. We're going to frame this brood up, put these bees in his box, and save me from taking them home an hour and an hour and 20 minutes in the vac and and uh, trying to get them introduced back to brood that's been out for a while. So as soon as he gets here, we're going to start cutting. I'm fishing start, start vacking now. In the meantime, while I wait on him, I'm gonna clean this wood up. I gotta cut all these staples flush and pull all these staples. I don't even know where that board came from, but it fell out of there somewhere. Where I'm gonna put it back though is right here. Nail it right there. That way I got attachment point going this way to, to uh, keep these levels the same. And then I got something to attach to it, the brick here. If you saw her, I got excited. They went to Queen. She just walked back in there. Got excited and took my camera off of her. <laughs> I was going to vac some more before I started pulling combs, but now I've seen the queen this high up. I don't want to accidentally suck her up. I like to catch her. So I'm going to go ahead and start pulling combs out a piece at a time and look for her. I know she's laying. I see cat brood in here. Got to look for some eggs in here too. see a lot of folks getting ate up doing cutouts and a lot of it I think what I see a lot of it is because they work too fast you start jamming a knife up in the combs working too hard and too fast and you crush bees and next thing you know you're getting stung and next thing you know you're smoking and and you're going, oh my gosh, I got stung 40 times on that removal. Well, of course you did. You're working too fast. Slow it down a little bit. Be a little more gentle. Another little mistake newbies make is when they get up in here vacuuming on this open honey and you got bees head down in the cells and they want to try to suck them up and they hold that vac over those cells. 
those bees are head down and hanging on and sometimes they don't want to come out but they'll sit there and hold that vac hose right there and they'll start pulling in honey before you know it they got a, a vac full of honey saturated bees and then they don't know how to recover from that there is a way to recover from that but best thing to do is to do like i'm doing and just kind of flick at them especially when you get open honey like that if it's not dried down good the vac will suck all that up you end up with a bunch of saturated bees. You get home, it'll just be a big ball of wet bees all clumped together. And they will die like that unless you know what to do once you, once you get them home. So I don't want to saturate a bunch of bees to show you how to fix that. But um, a lot of times when I bring a new beekeeper on the job to, to help with a cutout, we end up spending a half hour correcting that problem. Next time, next time we do that, I'll show you how to fix it. Because I know a bunch of you have done it. There's our queen right here. Got her. <laughs> Lucky there. Nice catch. All right, now that I got her in a clip, I'm gonna put this clip right up here next to the hive. So they all still know she's still there. Everything's cool. And what a little bit of honey in here is going to the homeowner. Give her a taste of her backyard. We're getting on towards sunset now. I got about half the hive out. One, two, three, four, five combs out. Backed up quite a bit of bees. Just kind of letting the foragers come in. It's about 45 minutes or so to sunset. I've just been on the phone yammering and taking care of business. Kind of taking my time on this one. Those little garden lizards like to eat bees too. Queen's still camping out up on the beam up there. And the last two pieces, still got a few foragers coming in. I'm just kind of letting them all gather up, backing them a few at a time. They really don't have anywhere to run. I got a few going in between the felt and the fascia. I'm fixing to spray some repellent to keep them back over this way. Aside from that, it's just been a real clean removal. A little bit of uh, uncapped honey. It's really, really sweet and a really mild flavor. Using everything B back, of course. Gonna be on video. Oh come on, please. <laughs> what? I got this. Tell me, tell me what you think about the honey. I, I don't do video, so you can see yourself looking. <laughs> so. Okay, guess who's getting the honey? Honey is fantastic. Oh, it is really good. It is really good. It's not dried down enough. It's still uncapped and it's really, really liquid, really viscous. So, uh, got to eat it fast, which probably won't be a problem, I don't think. You see how much I got so far? Yeah. So that's what I got so far. Well, that's not bad. No. That, that's not bad for a hive that we thought was dry. I didn't think we'd get anything out of it, but you can see how, how liquid it is and it's just not dried down. You can dry that down, but just better just to eat it. Sounds good to me.
<laughs> you can actually see things. Oh, yeah. You should have them out here, but Lord God, would the bees just go right for that? And there'd be a oh, small man. figure in the big there. Looks tidy and white. Yeah. Ladies, it's a good hurry. He was yanking on that screw. Well, I'm glad he was in his turn. Everybody pulled off a hive, and that guy's going to easily be on the knee. Yeah. It's one of them. They put a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Um, and again, and that happens all the time. So uh, if you just be patient. Yeah. And then he's sitting there. Oh, you know, go on one of these. Done. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, that's what you get when you get a at night. <laughs> yeah. You wanted to do this. Yeah. I said, we could have walked around like this. And we walk around like this in the morning. Yeah. And I'm those. And don't take one hit in the face. No bail. I mean, they're, they're all inside, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's all there, flanking bobs. Yeah, uh, I'm like, oh, nice. <laughs> Don't light up. Don't light up. <laughs> you know what that's all about. Oh, he's going. Go ahead. He has some Go have riders on you, too. That's the best because they'll come and they'll do the one of these They do. They get right in the back of your neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, <laughs> exactly. And then when you're sleeping, oh, you see these little bubbles from it. Here comes a little skinny. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I've had that before. You know? I try to find this stuff at night. We come down here. We get down here. Oh, let's pull out a couple of holes. Well, one time me and my brother on. I said, we're following and we're in um, grass this deep. And I said, the road's here somewhere. And oh, it's over here. And no shit. We missed a wash out. That was like a four foot wash out. Or we would have just oh, nosed her and we would have been done. Yeah. And then the, the one night, I'm like, oh, it's just right here. And it was at dusk. We just pulled in at dusk. Of course, we had to hit the old big pothole. <laughs> three, stack of three. Blam! <laughs> <And I'm, laughs> I'm out there, like, tennis shoes, and no straps, barely a veil. I jumped in the truck. And we were using the very thermal truck. And we had these piled all over. <laughs> and we were using the truck, and so I had a cab open the door for the bees, and it was just full. Oh. <laughs> it's like, there are bees in here. <laughs> the next morning, what you guys do? Leave the windows open. <laughs> what? Ain't you a beekeeper? <laughs> Yeah, you think it's a big, full-blown news. 